Good morning. Let's review the Ambassador Program. When the RDA discovered Pandora... You can't discover something that was there all along. Huffy. When we say discovered, we mean it was the first time humans came here. When we arrived, we realized that this was an opportunity to create beneficial relationships with the indigenous peoples. We created avatars like mine to help create relationships with the Natvi. And when you graduate, it'll be your job as ambassadors to reach out to the Natvi clans and to help us to create those alliances. Can um, anyone tell me how that can be done? The RDA can share their medicines, technologies, and knowledge. That's absolutely correct, Tila. Director Mercer, we have been going over TAP's mission as you requested. Why would not we want to have alliances with you? <laughs> Alma. You have no idea what life is like out there, Ahari. It's savage. We found you as children. After your clan abandoned you, we have given you a future. A purpose. Our clan would never have abandoned us. Built up on its land. Let's walk it. Down. I allowed you to keep that dirty trinket under the condition it remained in your bunk, mm hmm? Hmm. Hand it over. It was our mother's. It's not a dirty trinket. You don't even know what a song code is. Ari? It's just a broken string. I know this is difficult for you, but you have to accept that your mother abandoned you. Liar! <gasps> you all know the rules. No physical contact. No dinner for any of you. Director Mercer, sir! Manor. <laughs> Manor, the ends. Aungangahu, tam. Satwe lunit solani moon. Satona for aungat kamalunge. You're supposed to be speaking English on base. When you cry out at night, Telan, you cry out in Nati. Why do you always take Mercer's side? Director Mercer saved us! Daylon, they took us from our families. We are saplings cut from our roots. We may not remember where we're from, but we can still grow out there on Pandora. I can't even remember the words of our clan songs anymore. We can sing them even without words. Let them strip the nut V out of us. We have to do something before it's too late. We are stronger than them now. I felt it in the classroom with the Mercer. We can end this tonight. I have an idea. Alma, can I kelku? Good job, Daylan. Now we have to hurry. We only have a few minutes breathing the air before we're going to need masks. We found them. I'm very disappointed in you. We have given you this privileged life, and you want to throw it all away. We don't want your privileged life. We belong out there! No, you belong to us! You cannot fathom how much we have invested in you. Hmm? We saved you, gave you a home, 
an identity. We already had an identity. We are not me. No! You are what I made you. Yeah, you are. We may not remember the words, yeah, but we can still sing the songs of our people. Stop singing. I said shut up! Stop singing! We are going home. I'm warning you, Ahari. Not another step! Stop right there! So today we will continue our talk about Earth economics and the laws of supply and demand. Why do we have to use human weapons? Nor, we've been over this. Pandora is a very dangerous place. But we've hardly seen Pandora. How do we know what we're protecting ourselves against? Cortez, I need to talk to you over here, now. Look, orders have come down from Hell's Gate. We are being evacuated from Pandora. I need you to grab your stuff before... before the panic starts. What? Look, we have lost Pandora. Some Avatar driver named Jake Sully went full native, turned the Na'vi on us. That's why you can't trust any of them. I need you to get your stuff together and get back to your own damn body now. Puppet show is over. Okay, everyone, collect your things. Hey, Cortez, I will handle this. You need to go. You know what to do. You'll be safe here. Is Mercer leaving us? We are no longer of use to him. No, I, I won't believe it. Hurry, you need to hide. Let us go. We can take them. We can escape to Pandora. There are soldiers everywhere. You won't make a single step. This is our chance to be free. This is your only chance to survive. What about you? You're just going to go to sleep for a little while. It won't be long, okay? You help. You help. You helped me before. I'll help you now. You helped me before. You helped me before. I'll help you now. You helped me before. I'll help you now. Stay where you're needed.
I lost you. All of you. What, what happened? Been asleep for a while. A long, long while. Well, Matikame. Must you prodded them like this? If they can walk, they can walk. The rest we have to leave. But the RDA left, didn't they? And you left us here. The sky people have returned, Sarandu. Sarandu? No one has ever called me that. That is your clan. And a mighty one at that. We thought you were lost to this world, but this dreamwalker thought to lock you up in a box instead. I'll explain when we get back. But for now, you take it easy. Your body's still waking up. Did we... Did everyone make it? I'm here. More than they want to. Oh. We're safe. <laughs> We're getting out. thought we were making pets and not soldiers. Get rid of them. Here, take this. A radio? Put it in your ear. It is tuned to our frequency. You've been busy. They were looking for you. They found me. You need to move. Now. Wait, what's your name? Sotle. One of the last of my clan. I am here, so you will not be the last of yours. Keep moving. Fast and quiet. Go. I hear you. Those soldiers are everywhere. It's okay. Breathe. Look for a way out.
Godlack, can you hear me? Where is everyone else? Did they get out? I'm making sure they do. Are you safe? For now. I think. Let me worry about the others. Just keep moving. the Navi have a taste for human flesh. Why'd they have food in mind? Would you stop staring at this stuff? You heard Hardy. We need to find them. Wait, did you hear that? Bro, Blue! You still here? There are bugs on this new video. I'm happy to be Yeah, that'll work. Pandora, if the air doesn't get you, the locals will. I gotta be honest, I stopped listening to you hours ago. Lord. That was close. Do not let them escape. Shoot to kill. I don't care how good the fruit looks, it'll kill your doctor from the local club. Ugh. Door to the gym is locked. I'll try to find a way through. Stay watchful. Keep it all, I say. Can't wait to get away from you. What I wouldn't give for a good cup of coffee right now. Okay, I'm out of the gym. Catch, Harding. Ah, you don't gotta worry about this one. It hasn't got anywhere near the fight its sister did. Murderer. Well, look where it got her. Such a shame. They could have been of use once. But now there are no Navi ambassadors. Only Navi obstacles. Mom!
others followed the water. More RDA. What happened? Over here, by the tree. Salt like. Now you see what they kept you from. Your true home. You saved me. Ah! You can't keep fighting. I will help you this time. You will need arrows. Wood in the underbrush is pliable. You will find it. Simply focus your senses. My senses? They taught you to be human, but you are not we. See the forest as I do. You see, this is your home. It will speak to you, if you let it. Let your senses guide you. Okay, I got it. You are ready. We should get out of here. Can you move? Dab of it. I need a pot. From a dab of it plant. I'll find one. Don't worry. Near the shore. They grow by water. Soldiers.
So, like, I can't find what you need. A double fit pot. The plant grows near water. Look through the lake. Focus on what you need. So like, I got the Dapafet. On my way back. There were more soldiers. them take him alive. Fast. Dap of it. Do you have it? And this is how we heal. You have no song court. We had my mother's, but they stole it. We must change that. Wait! What should I do now? Do? You must discover your own way, Sarendu. And until then, join the resistance. But hear me. Those humans have the same enemy, but we're not the same. No, no, no. They are too close. Go. I'll meet you at base camp by the waterfall.
The waterfall. Resistance base must be above it. Airship Nasa. It is soundproof, Priya. Filter got stuck. Jen thinks he's got it figured out now. Oh my gosh, another one. I am so glad you're here since, you know, there's so few of you left. Oh god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Welcome to Resistance HQ. <sighs> uh, right. Sorry. Oh well, Nati Kamie. <laughs> what? Come to gear up. You take care of yourself. I should probably learn how to shoot. <laughs> Always ready to listen and give some advice. Well, sure, but she seems pretty busy with those not be they rescued. Well, that is true. Glad to see you. We heard the shooting and Alma said to run for it. Are you okay? Shaken. Sotlek got me out. Where are the others? They, Nella and Nor made it too. But they decided to spend time outside. I don't think they should. Isn't it dangerous? Don't worry, you're all safe now. That's what matters. What happened back there? Tap was in ruins. Mercer ordered it destroyed when they evacuated. I watched the walls collapse in... on you. I thought you were dead. Then Priya heard the RDA on the radio talking about his signal at TAP. I was afraid to hope. 
How long were we in there? It feels like you left yesterday. It, uh... Should feel like that for you, but... It's been nearly 16 years. What? 16? Alma! That can't be right! Y you need to understand. Seeing you all again today... You have no idea how much that means to me. I failed you. I won't make that mistake again, I promise. Look. Take some time. Raj will get you cleaned up. Taylan knows his way around already. He can show you. This can be your home now. You'll see. Sixteen years. It doesn't feel real. Yeah, I... I don't know. I don't know what to think about that. Almost right, though. We can be at home here. I feel it. And it's cool here, right? So much cool tech. Exactly. But now what? What's the big picture? Colonization? Of Pandora? <laughs> He's over there. Uh, that's Raj? He's cool. Kinda. I think everyone's just getting used to us being around. You must be Raj. It's Rajinder. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Alma said... I know Alma. Alma calls me Raj. I don't know you. I... I I'm new. <laughs> Relax, new. I knew you were coming. Sleeping all this time. Oh, you must be well rested. I have fresh clothes ready for all of you. Alma didn't tell me you were missing a sense of humor as well. You need a new look. Keep yourself in one piece. Do you... Can I give you anything for these? You get a freebie, this time. Special circumstances considering. Usually, we take what we can get around here. If you find something good, let me know. Not be clothes. Do they feel weird? I think I like them. Hmm. Well, I want to keep my hat. 
and some other bits. And try out some of the tech. You have to meet this Alex guy. He's like an inventor. You settled in fast? Well, it's weird being out of tap. But everyone here's been super nice. Talon! Can't keep away, I see. And you brought another Navi. Alex builds stuff. Mechanisms and technology for all kinds of communications and discovery. And a little chaos, if I have the tuning right. <laughs> see this? This is Sid, my systems interrogation device. Good name, right? Bit of a mouthful, perhaps. Ajir thought it was a little much, but what does he know? I designed it with Navi in mind, a little troublemaker for RDA technology, cobbled it together with old RDA parts. And top parts. Yes, well, we could probably scratch that off or paint over it, you know, if, if you like. I've been trying to get Alma to test it. Oh, we can test it. Can we? We can test it? That could be fun. I can make one for each of you. Go ahead, get a feel for it. I'm actually hoping you can find the faulty wiring in our air filtration. See the wires running under the floors here? You should be able to track those to the maintenance panels. Give it a go. My data shows a fault upstairs as well. Probably that damn wiring. Mm. Mind taking a quick look? The tool should lock on to the frequency. Easy peasy. Hey, Alex. I think I found the fault. Just a little hack, and the system will reset. Do you mind? I think I got it. Ah, you see, it is a useful tool, isn't it? I told Alma this. This is our future. I must say, I'm looking forward to seeing what you do with it. Nice to have one's work come to something. But I've ordered you about enough. Alma's gathering everyone for a briefing. I believe your friends are still exploring outside. There you are! I'd forgotten how it feels to simply sit in the breeze. Taste the sweetness on the air. Not listen to Mercer talk about their civilized culture. There are more colors than I remember. I have no names for them. We'll learn their names. We'll relearn all the Sarandu ways. Why do you think Alma waited to bring us here? Why didn't she check tap before? Maybe it wasn't safe before. It's not safe now. 
Who cares? We are free. I want to run until my lungs ache and my legs give out. We could leave, you know. Right now. Where would we go? <laughs> Wherever we want. All of us. What do you think? You, me, Rinella, Telan? We could live as Sarentu again. Alma brought us here for a reason. She's gathering everyone inside to talk. She must have a plan. Don't stay here for her. She wants to control you. All the humans do. No, they don't. Alma was always kind to us. The people here like her. A and they're nice, aren't they? They seem nice. But Priya let me use her radio. I believe they want to help us. Let's go see what Alma wants. Maybe... Maybe it's something fun? I doubt that. No. Please. Come on. Everyone's waiting. Fine, fine. Just give me a minute. The light is different out here. I want to enjoy it. Haven't we spent enough time in metal boxes? At least tonight. We'll sleep under the stars. Like our families did. Maybe Anufi will share some of her healing recipes with me. John Mercer, founder of the TAP program. The Saturn two know him all too well, but for many of you, he is a new face. He has returned to Pandora as the executive vice president of Frontier Operations, alongside your old friend from TAP, Colonel Angela Harding as his head of security. He is ambitious, self-serving, egotistical. And you worked with him. We have been fighting the RDA for many months now. What difference can this man make? Mercer's tactics are aggressive. That, coupled with his frustrations over Tat's failure, we need to strategize. Our outreach work with the nearest clans has been difficult. Some Aranaihe were willing to fight, but after suffering losses on their side, they've since withdrawn. We haven't explored further than the Zeswa. They're fierce, but they're unwilling to make a human alliance. Your clan was one of travelers, storytellers, diplomats. Respected. The Na'vi might listen to you. Uh, Alma? We have a pollution spike close by. Like, really close. Check out the levels. RDA, it has to be. They're here. With Mercer. No, not him! Pollution is caused by RDA machinery. They must be setting up a regular drill site. Carving up the land. Poisoning it. Turning it to sludge. They've never been this close to HQ before. If they go wandering, they'll find us for sure. We're spread thin right now. Solek, can you establish a safe perimeter? Anka, try and reach Hajir over radio. I can try to shut down that drill site. I think I have the hang of Sid now. I don't think that's such a good idea. Let them go. I've seen them fight. They'll be fine. Okay, but be careful. The rest of you, get ready to intercept any other patrols. Keep your radios on. Be ready. If the RDA see you at their drill site, they will engage. Remember what I taught you. Craft your arrows, focus your senses. There are supplies by the main airlock, should you need.
Hey, Priya, I'm near the drill site. The ground here, it's... Every time the RDA sets up somewhere, it's the same thing. Their equipment pollutes everything around it. Everything. But hey, Pandora is strong. Shut down those drills and the land will recover. One sec, I'll check the schematics. You have those? Being ex-RDA has got to have some kind of right? I'm kidding. Yeah, they're not like people. Looks like we've got two things here. The coin made it on the drill and the generator. Probably a major drill site. What about the RDA?
Generator and cooling unit are down. The emergency vent should open. Up high on the drill. When it opens, fire at it. Oh, that's cool. Shut down the drills. We should be RDA free for a while. Well, uh, we found something up high, like a big flower. The others are excited, but I don't know. I'm not sure. Will you come look? only for the Sarentu to connect to Ewa after so many years. Ewa, I've dreamed of this. Do you think we should do this? This doesn't look right. You've never seen one before. Pandora isn't made of metal and wires. Yeah, but do you think maybe it's poisonous or something? That color. I'm sure that color means poison. Ewa would not harm us. <laughs> Rosa warned me about Ewa. We'll connect together, okay? At the same time. But what is this? The mark I myself made? Do you know me, child? I am Entu, ancestor. Indeed, the first of our clan. We, Saren, to wander Pandora, weaving together the clan with stories. You are new, are you not, to this world? Come to the Tarsu, child, when you need the wisdom of the ancestors, and you will thrive. But first, you must learn to survive. The first time you look upon Pandora is like the first time I looked upon the sea. I saw a vast, single thing, never still, always moving. But you can ride it to faraway places, or you can drown within it. To survive on Pandora, you must learn to move like the waves, to leap and to ride, to flow with the same energy. 
take this gift of flow, child, and live. Ancestor, a real Saren do. Do you think he knew that we that we're different from other Natvi? I don't think we are. We didn't grow up in a clan. We didn't hear all our songs, our stories. We only learned the Sky People's ways: death, destruction, hate. But we still belong to Ewa, right? Mercer said Hewa brings pain. A black cloud over heart and mind, full of tricks and lies. He needed us to be afraid, to silence us, to control us. This is the way of the Sarentu, our connection to the Great Mother. I'm on my way back to HQ. See you soon. air quality levels across the western frontier here and at our field labs it's gotten so much better since you took out that drill site we've been researching the effects trying to combat them pushing the rda back where we can yeah they're gonna kill this place otherwise just like home earth alma taught us about it did she give you the whole story it's what well, it's lost dying because we didn't fight for it when we had the chance so now we're fighting for yours. We are going to make a difference here, together. Oh, Solek was hoping to catch you too. Promised him I wouldn't forget. Tell him I didn't forget! What is going on at that camp? Is the radio dead? <gasps> I totally forgot to do that thing. <laughs> Thank you. 
You did well out there. Did the humans teach you their weapons too? No. I saw the RDA butcher my clan. The bullets slicing them to shreds. That was my lesson. I know how it feels to be among the last of your people. The humans. They are like their guns. Brought here to cause pain. The humans here were RDA once. And I would not make it easy for them to forget. They are our allies now, yes. But this is not their war. They fight for the ghost of their homeworld, but we fight for our home. Mercer got what he wanted in the end. He made us into soldiers. You are not what they made you. You are not the... You will learn what that means in time. Starting with this. I made it for you. My own song chord? Like my mother's. All Na'vi wear one. It is your life's journey for the world to see. For you to remember. Hers had more beads on it. Each bead is a moment of great importance to the wearer. I have put one in place, for now, to commemorate your first steps to freedom. Build on it. Build your own memories, each one a new song in your heart. I hope we can. Ritnella really wants to try, to know what it means to be Sarantu. But at the Tarsiu, Nor seemed confused, upset. Ewa shows us who we are, and who we can be. But she also reminds us of what has been lost. For your people, that is a heavy burden. The back exit is not so exposed. He may be there. Yeah. Choose with care. Do not be caught off guard. Representing the resistance. Nice. You're a good shot, huh? Maybe we can practice Nor, where are you? <laughs> Maybe it's linked to... Nor must have come through here. Okay, think. Nor left HQ. Definitely came this way. Burst the vein pod. Must have brushed past it. The scent! Ah, oh, yes! Track the scent! You hearing me? I was tracking Nord by the cliffs outside, but I lost the scent. 
Looks like he crossed a river. I'm sure he's not gone far. Maybe he just wanted to explore a bit. Maybe. I'm going to keep climbing. Maybe. I'm going to keep climbing. What must our ancestors think of us? Do you think they pity us? Sad to see what we've become? We're still Sarindu. Telan barely speaks our tongue. But then, he always preferred human words. Alma says we all need time to adjust. Alma is not Na'vi. Why did the RDA come back? They wanted more of Pandora. They always do. Then we'll need to fight. Yes. Ahari would have wanted us to fight. Rinella and Telan. We'll make sure HQ is safe.
they find this place? It's not on any of their patrol routes. They're looking for us now. Uh, okay. You'll be fine. All right? Listen to me. You'll be fine. Yeah. Have you seen one of these before? Uh, no. Don't worry. It's easy. We'll have more on us soon. I need to stabilize him. Don't take too long. There's an oil refinery ahead. I'll make sure the ID come running to it. Keep them off Alman Hajir till then. You can handle this. I'll be quick.
Alma, I found the supplies. I'll... They had plenty of amp suits. More than I've seen around here before. One of Mercer's favorite toys. You were always quick. I'm sorry you had to face them alone. I wasn't alone. Solek distracted them. And did you see that Nappi? Ikran are fierce. And very protective of their riders. An RDA scorpion is no match for them. Not be dreamwalker and human, fighting the sky people alone. You are very brave. That was amazing. The way you took out that thing. Thank you. Wait. You have the ma. You are Sar and Tu. The storytellers bring us a peace. My father said your clan disappeared years ago. We thought you were dead. The Sarantu spirit is not so easy to kill. I had hoped to find the resistance here, but... The Sarantu... I am Itua, Sahe of the Aranae. I knew your mother. I'm sorry. Our home suffers too. The sky people grow bolder and the land falters under their feet. And yet, my people, our home tree, we are not warriors, but war has come. My father still needs convincing, but he knew the Sarentu. He will listen to you. He must. I need to get them back. The others. They should know what happened here. Of course, I'll help with your wounded. My home tree isn't far from here. Tell them I sent you. But not all see as I do, so please don't mention my part in this. 
May your spirit soar with the currents of the wind. So let another not be showed up to help. A Thua from the Aranahek clan. She asked me to visit her home tree. Maybe more not be will join us now? Not likely. I tried before. They did not go so well. Their leader, Kanan, practically threw me out. He is not easily swayed. He's not afraid of the RDA? Rather, they have already caused him great sorrow. He will protect his people from further suffering. That I can understand. The Arane are normally united in all things, but the war has sparked some friction. Many will close their eyes to an uneasy truth, but a Saren tool may help them see. They see each other a little too well. Stranger! I've not seen your kind before. What clan are you? They look odd. Etua invited me here to see her father. What's that on your face? It is the mark of the Sarandu. And yet the Sarandu we once knew did not defy Ewa with scraps from the sky people. It's all I know. They stole us when we were children. They have stolen many things. You were gone a long time, and you are young. Has your spirit been molded by the Sky People, or do you remember the ways of your clan? 
Shoo! Put that away. <clears throat> Sharp eyes. A Sarentu's gaze. But yours is heavy. Let home tree be a refuge from your burdens. We will put some color in your cheeks. Or in your clothes at the very least. You will pick up the threads of your people here. Oh, how I miss their stories. They loved our silk harvest. The sweet smell of dye my own too. Cut not. Let me take the Saren too. The poor child knows nothing of our ways. Go. We will speak more when you are settled. I really must speak more with Etua's father about the resistance. Later, my young dude. Here's our Uluk Ektan, our clan's leader. Let us clean you up a bit first. You would frighten the hide off an angsik looking like that. <laughs> Besides, I would not mention those sky people if I were you. They are nothing but trouble, and Katna does not like trouble. Let me show you off a bit instead, hmm? Will you allow me that? It has been an age since we had Sarentu around here. Your people certainly made life more interesting. One time, they told us a tale about the rare mating rituals of the giant Zakru. Apparently, it can take days. <laughs> But there will be time for that later. Our great tree has many stories, lived many lives, hosted your ancestors as our guest before you. And there was not one Saren to who could resist how our dies dance. <laughs> Come, see my leaders. Koranu, my dear, let us see your latest gorgeous silk. Is it not? Not as sturdy as it once was. Not since the Kinglor flowers closed. But still, you will not find better. Stronger than Zakru will, I promise you that. And you know how the Zezwa love to brag. Koranu is quite the weaver. She will help you out. Anything you need. Yes, please take my mind off this. I've been working on it for hours and... It's still not quite where I want it. You see, now is the time for beauty, for art. Speaking of which... Everyone said... Relun! Finally decided to grace me with your presence, have you? And with a Sarentu, no less. Exciting, is it not? Another lost soul for you to guide over the rocky ravines of life. Better men to wait, Sarentu. <laughs> ah, still cross, I see. If you are smart, you will not let this one fill your head with silk and dye. The heart of the Aranae is taste. Relun is a prickly one. But he is the very best cook. He knows it too. And here, my dear friend, Kitangi. Nafika, taking the Sauron to under your wing already? A necessity, I should think. Look at these clothes. Pitiful. <laughs> Rough and prickly like a hermit bud. You lack the grace of your ancestors. They knew how to dress. Rough and prickly is what I'm used to. Well, now you will shine brightly. Rival the rainforest with our collars, my own too. Our silk will serve you well. Strengthened with storm beast hide, it will stop you from getting chewed up out there. Or at least, you will be hard to swallow. <laughs> storm beast? Can this child track? I've done okay so far. Okay? What do we think of okay? Do you thrive on okay, child? 
or do you only survive? Ito is on a hunt. I'm sure he will make a fine guide. <laughs> Indeed, if you can find him. There is a hunting camp near the Watcher. Ito will be there. But do not upset his hunt. He will not thank you for that. Go on, my own two. A respectful hunt will show, Katnat. You remember the ways of the people. There is no need to rush yourself, child. Go now if you want, but stay and enjoy our beautiful silk harvest if you need a little rest. No Arana here would begrudge you that. What is it you need? Take good care of your boat. Have a look then. Have you s Do you know where Vu An is? She promised she would bring me dyeing materials, but she has been gone forever. I don't know who that is. Sorry. Uh, I cannot gather my own supplies. I... I have no Ikran. Vu An offered to help, but what if something happened to her because of me? I can look for her if you like. Oh, could you? She likes the forage in a shaded grove. Perhaps you could ask around for her there. It was a time of... Can you save me from... Alemun and Neyan, our lookouts. Both of them are sharp and capable. A shame they can never see eye to eye. This most recent disagreement, however, it sounds serious. Neyan especially sounds so tense now. They could benefit from some Sarantu diplomacy, surely. Your Ikran is beautiful. My Zome, for her no wind is too strong, no challenge too great. We hunt with heart in harmony. Are you here to admire us? I would not fault you for that. No, I... I I'm looking for Itu. My name has reached other clans. Even lost ones. Let me guess, Nafika sent you to me. <laughs> she wants me to teach. Boring, I say. To be safe at home tree, telling the little ones of Hans, of adventure. They would not understand. What does danger mean to those who have only known safety? Zome and I tear through the skies together, our hearts pounding, our senses on fire. That rush makes us strong, fearless, the best hunters. Nafika did say you were hunting Sturmbeast. Can I join? Is that what you are after? Are you a good hunter? I was never taught how. Never taught how? What have your people been doing all these years? Did you find a land without hunting? A place where creatures lay down to die willingly? See there? Young hunters practice on targets first. Practice, or it will be the stern beast hunting you. <laughs> ah! Stop! Do not get too close. You are not a bottle. Yet you chose your weakest weapon. Are you trying to make your life difficult? Come. Not bad. At least your thanks will have meaning. My thanks? Are you serious? What have your people been doing? What kind of life have you lived? It's a long story. If I wanted to hear a long story, I would be at home. Each time you hunt, you must take a life. And so you must thank your sister or brother for their gifts as they return to the Great Mother. I see you. Your spirit goes to Ewa and your body stays to become part of the people. Thank you for these gifts. This way you let her ascend to the ancestors. Remember that and do not waste the gifts you receive. The gifts? Right. The hide, the meat, 
You know what to do with them. Ah, Nefika will show you. Go on. You do not need me to hold your hand. I see you. Your spirit goes to Ewa, and your body stays to become part of the people. Thank you for these gifts. Do you have no other? Oh, here we go. Tell me, if one of the Sky People's flying machines went down near your home, creating a huge mess, would you be concerned? I am still right here. And I am telling you not to worry. But what if someone got hurt? When we see potential danger, do we simply say to ourselves, Oh, I hope someone does something. We are that someone, Neon. Do we know why that aircraft went down? No, we do not. Which is why I am advising my fellow scout not to involve me, herself, or anyone else. Including you, Sarentu. Relax, Neon. I would never dream of putting your life in danger. I could use a hand out there. I'd be happy to help. But I don't want to cause trouble. Ignore him. It is what I do. The flying thing went down in Weaver's Flourish, near a river. It's a good place to start. You will not find anything, Alemon. This is a waste of time. Sarantu, I suggest you stay away from matters that do not concern you. Oh, here we go. Yes, here I go. Come to look down your nose at me, have you? Ah. I have some meat from my hunt. Nefika said you... You sent this forlorn miscreant to bother me? Everything is a joke, as usual. She said you're the best cook. Ha 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 ha! Ah! The child knows how to charm. And honesty from you, Nefika. I suppose that is typical of her tactics. She thinks flattery will get her everywhere. Come, come. Leave the grump for later. Now we turn to more serious arts. Is there something wrong with your home tree? Etua said it suffers. Ah, Are you new? The king lore are uneasy. We have provided for them since their flowers closed, but their numbers are too many. Gatnad would prefer Etua to focus all her energies on them. But... I think that child does her best. Now pay attention. Gatnat should see you still have some Natvi skill. And I should like to see it myself. Time for a break, I think.
outdone yourself. The meat was so juicy, and it had that sweet crust given by berries baked to the right heat. Nefika has had her way. Now you look more like the silent who we remember. The loss of your people pains us. We valued their counsel, but we know you are not here to offer their wisdom. The Sky People... The Resistance fights them, but they can't do it alone. This is why you have come. You stand in the heart of our home tree. Its warm embrace. Even you, lost one, must feel it. And you ask me to bring war here? No. They bring war with them. Please. We, Arana He, do not seek conflict. And yet you goad us, desperate for a fight. Do you remember your family? A little. My mother. Her smile. Her warmth. Did you see her die? Did she smile at you then, helpless, desperate to reassure you? Have you seen Ewa's light leave someone you love? Well... You certainly made an impression. Gatna is not easily rattled. Be careful, my Aundu. I wasn't trying to anger him. Keep your chin up. Pay a visit to the very top of our tree. Our Tzahik is back. I have been out, by the waterway valley. So that is why we have so much fish to eat. King Nor are restless. The rainforest was theirs once. The sky people drove them out, I am sure of it. Is this nest all that remains? Yes. And with so many King Nor here, our home tree weakens. Ah. See? How the Queen cares for them. Protects them. She is born knowing what to do. How to lead. She knows where she belongs. My mother always said, a steady heart, see steady wings. They were always at ease with her. I'd find her here at dawn, tending to them, singing to them. Mm. Her love was enough. It's all right. They won't hurt you. The King Law are peaceful by nature, but they are not docile when facing a threat. Their sting is sharp, and they swarm as one. We must find our sting. Itu, where is he? Your father is asking for him. He's not back? We need to talk that now. Wait! You don't have to. We can find him together. The people need their psyche. Here. I'll deal with this. Let me go with her. You helped me before. I'll help you now. Stay where you're needed. Where I belong. <sighs> there is a hunting camp near the forest cliffs. Vefilu is likely to start her search for E2 there. Hello, my friend. Would you care to join me for a meal and a story? I promise flavors that delight both the palate and the mind. Sounds great. What are you cooking? Oh, no, young one. 
on. You are in charge of the meal. For my part, I will provide the cooking lessons and the story. After all, it is the way of the Saren to, to learn the way of the other clans. I'd be happy to, then. Where are the ingredients? Ah, but the gathering is part of the journey, you see. You must collect some shell fruit as the main ingredient, then crimson mushrooms for flavor. We need pristine ones, too. Do not settle for inferior quality. Take your time when harvesting and be wary of damaging them. Shell fruit and crimson mushrooms. Sounds simple enough. Simple recipes are often the trickiest ones to master young Saren, too. And this one hmm, is the simplest of all. Unfortunately, the Sky People's corrupting touch has befouled everything, including these fruits and mushrooms. Still, there are some exceptional specimens to be found if you look hard enough. Follow my instructions, and I promise you a story that will make it worth your while. I know why you're here. Only to help. Or to check on me. Etua sent you. She wants to ensure I don't tell Katnat how she defies him. Etua is just worried about Itu. Just like a Sarentu. Eva the diplomat. I hope so. One day. Perhaps we need your diplomacy. We are not fighters, and I worry this time we went too far. What happened? The sky people creep ever closer, so we push back. It's just the three of us to stay out of sight from Kapnat. Usually, it's fine. Exhilarating, even. We get home, we celebrate. But this time, you two never did. He needs me. I must go. I could come with you. I'm retracing our steps. It's too far without an Ikran. I can search here. Maybe he and Zome are closer than you think. Perhaps. He has a place at the stone pillars down the hill from here. There's a cave at the bottom of the cliffs. Prepare your gear before you go. The Sky people move in packs. And save yourself broken bones by using the big leaves to break your fall. Tahewu must learn strength. Greetings. It is good to meet a... Are you perhaps looking for blade wing moth blades? One is nearby. Looks like the place. I wonder if... Hmm... That's not it. Looks like a Nubby won this fight. A food parcel. Unfinished. Itu stopped here. Someone or something interrupted him before he could eat. But what else? Something was desperate to get out. Running away or after something. Huh. 
An Econ fought in this cave. Its headpiece snapped in the struggle, clawed its way out. Maybe it's linked to... A not be fought with RDA. Not be skills were winning. But then their bow broke. Had to flee. Itu landed with his Ikran Zome. They fought the RDA. They got trapped in the cave, but escaped up there. Is that Ikran blood? A scent trail to follow. RDA. I'd better hurry. Lost the scent. Thank you for these gifts. I heard her. That way.
Sorry, I'll be right back. It's me, your hunting student. Tarantu, how did you find me? Etua sent me to help you. You hated some of my lessons at least. Now get me out of this place. The door is stuck. Hold on, I'll try and fix it. should be able to get in now. This metal bird is a trap! I'm sorry. I was trying to let you out. Paikan, Zome, is she- Still fighting. She helped me fight off the RDA. The sky people separated us. Cornered me in here. I could hear them shooting at her. Laughing at her anguish. They hunt without need. We should get out of here, before more come. <laughs> I must get to her. I know. the metal bird. A narrow victory, Sarantu. We must fly close to death to soar through life. That was too close. You have my thanks, Hale and I. It was Zome who saved us. She must be a legend among Ikran. <laughs> Together we fear nothing. I saw that metal tear shoot her as she tore it down. I shall go now and tell it to her what she missed. Ito, you're injured. Let me help you. It is nothing. I shall call Zome and be on my way. I should never have left her. She's hurt and alone. She can't be far. Zome is strong and brave. We will find her, together. We have to. You have not bonded, Sarento. You do not know how it is. Tell me. A bond like no other. We fly as one, think as one. I hope to have a bond like you and Zome one day. That is my deepest hope for you two. I think I heard her uh, that way. How did you choose her? She chose me. That is how it is. She trusted me and now I... I cannot lose her. Ah! 
E2. We should stop. No. Oh, Zome needs me. Ah. Rest a while. You keep looking for her. Try and find her scent. I will catch up. My beautiful. I am here now. Let me carry your pains on me. Let me help you. We have to go home, Zome. You have to fight so we can go home together. You are not fighting. You are supposed to. Do not leave me, please. Shh. I am sorry. But we can save her, can't we? Return to Ewa. Until whispering winds lift us once more. Kindred. I was too late, Itu. I'm so sorry. Please, if there's anything I can do... Tell Itu and Vifilu I am safe. Thanks to you, friend. Zome's last flight must be honored. Perhaps we can do it together once I return to Home Tree. I'll give you some time alone. these gifts. Sorry. I was looking for Etua. No, do not go. Speak with me for a moment. I let my fear and anger speak for me before, and I dishonored your loss. Even though she is with Ewa, my beloved mate Asahe reminds me of everything that was taken from us. Her wisdom and kindness remain here, and in Itua. I see you and Itua walking the same path, and yet it takes her further away from me. She is like her mother, impetuous and headstrong. She is the fearless Natvi I want to be one day. I held her, Asahi, as she died in my arms. She was fearless too. Where you see a risk worth taking, I see certain war and devastation my people have lost so much already. But if you don't fight, you could lose everything. For a moment we saw the peaceful spirit of the Sarendu in you. But it seems they truly did die. I should find Etua. He cannot really believe this is my fault. Have you... Our own Sarendu hero returns. Your ancestors will be proud. The hunters told me of Zome's needless death. Sky people care nothing for life, for beauty. And they are the problem with the King Law. I know it. What now? 
When your mother had that look, trouble followed. If you connect to the Queen, she will show you what pains her. I tried, but could not understand what I saw. She might reject me. I'm more Sky People than Navi. You are both. That is your strength, and why it must be you. Your father might banish us all for this. I know he is afraid for us, Nafika. But if we do not try, he will not have anything to protect. Glade of Light is perfect for a meeting away from prying eyes. Yes! I will escort the King Law Queen there. Unfurrow your brow, my own. All will be well. A tiny sting, and when you awake, we will give you a reviving nectar, Nixie. A sting? It's nothing. But the nectar Nixie will welcome you back. All who ask for sight from the King Lord Queen must gather nectar before the ritual. Take her. You are more Navi than you know. Now shoo. You Who knew the sky could hold so much water? Gather with this pollution everywhere. Priya might know what to do. Hey, Priya? What's up? Oh, crap. What? I spilled my coffee. I mean, calling it coffee is generous, but anyway. Yeah. So I've reached a patch of forest that's heavily polluted. It's stopping me from getting the nectar I need. Let me see. Uh, yep, there's a facility near you. You'll have to take it out. That'll stop the pollution, and the forest should clear up. Sid will help you do it quietly. Okay. I'll go check it out. Dropping the coordinates now. Remember that place will be heavily guarded, so prepare before you go. Might need some Dapplefit pods. Another extraction site. I, I see towers and silos. Sounds like a gas mine. Three guesses what's in those silos. Hmm, if I'm reading these plans right, you'll need to disable the towers and the gas storage facility.
weird gliding predators. You told me this three times. is healing. Should find that nectar now. Hey Priya, I found something here. It looks like a list of names. RDA names. Maybe where they're stationed? Oh, like a duty roster, I guess. Well, are you clever? Taking names and kicking ass. Oh, what? Uh, hang on a sec. You want what? Okay, so Lick is interested in these. Lick's super interested. Can you show him next time you're at HQ? Hey, you know, I've been seeing Pandora's air quality decreasing for months. And now, finally, it's getting better. I mean, not dramatically, yes, but it's a good start. these gifts. Seems like life is like spinning silk. There is always the need for another twist. Yes, water for spinning the denizens of the forest. Spinning and cooking are my favorite things. Try cooking at least. Such gifts Ewa shares with. You should seek shelter. You look the rain tired. is fierce. Would you like something to eat? You can almost hear the plant sighing gratitude for the moisture. Hey, something weird just happened. What kind of weird? Well, I was doing some maintenance. That filtration system has me on edge. And also, have you ever noticed actually that when I... Priya, the weird thing. Oh, yeah, sorry. So I was straining to reach a part I needed, but then Nor comes over and he's like, let me get that for you. And hands me the thing. What did you say? Nothing. It's kind of froze and smiled. Anyway, it's been really helpful lately. Even to humans. Maybe he's just getting used to you. I mean, you're not 
so bad. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. I'm glad, though. Anyway, I'd better go. Call if you need anything. Let's hope this works. Hope is the only thing we have left, my Aldi. Did you bring the nectar? Ewa has brought us calm. There will not be calm if Gatna discovers our plan. One with all things connected through you. <gasps> Guide this traveler, bring them to the heart of the nest. facility, but she doesn't know what it is. The queen wants to find more flowers for the king or to feed. The energy pulses disturb her. She feels it. The swarm is agitated. It's confusing, so she keeps flying.
Away from the balloons. The swarm is weak. Where is she leading them? And I think they're okay. Eat this. You have been on a long journey. What did the King or Queen show you? I saw the Sky People's facility looming over the forest. It's sending out a signal to the devices in the sky. That signal closes the flowers, stopping the King or from feeding. This forced them to the shelter of Home Tree. The devices can only be reached by air. I'll shoot the floating devices down, every last one. That won't be enough. The signal is coming from a Sky People base at the Stone Pillars. But I think I know how we can disable the sensors on the floating devices. Then you must fly with us, but you'll need an Ikran. An Ikran is an honor only Katnat can grant. And he will not. The King Lore has shown the Sky People to be the source of their troubles. He has to listen this time. I'll gather the hunters. Their bows will be ready to help save the King Lore. Nafika will meet you at the base of the Rukri. It is time for you to soar, my Aundu. I will bring Itu. It will comfort him to see you make the bond. We'll meet at a high place near the Rukri. Let our arrows fly true when we descend on the Sky People. What if I don't make a bond? You shall still have honor, my Aundu. They shall sing songs of how an Ikran tossed you from the rookery. <laughs> First, you must connect to Ewa. She will prepare you for the Ikran bond. What are you doing? It's, it's knock knock. You know, you just say, who's there? All right? Like someone's knocking on a door. Okay, knock knock. Who's there? I know it's you, though. No, just, okay, just play along. Knock knock. Who's there? Water. Now you say water who? Water who? Water, you doing telling jokes. Don't you have more important things to do? <laughs> Did you go out? I'm still here. It's great, Priya. Definitely the best knock-knock joke I've ever heard. Yeah. Oh, okay. I am telling her you said that. Let us not stand around waiting to be caught out. Through here? Is it safe? I am not sending you to your doom. Go on. Trust me, my young. That's what you said about the King Lord sting. Here. I use this with Zormi. May you find a bond as strong as ours. And Mayautu, our hunters always say, do not look down. 
I suggest you heed their wisdom. <laughs> Slow down for you. How? How did you get up here so fast? Ha! I spent my childhood climbing these mountains. I know all their tricks. You're feeling better then? In body, not yet in spirit. She looks a little skittish. It is up to her if she chooses you. Hey, did I meet you before? Do not worry. No self-respecting Ikran would accept the first attempt. Continue your climb. Show her you are worthy. I hope so. Never guess where I am right now. Oh, God, hate didn't spoil you in one of their dive apps, did they? <laughs> the opposite. I'm climbing the Ikran Rookery to be chosen. At least, I hope I get chosen. Uh, seriously? Right now? You're doing that right now? It's like crazy hobby, right? Are you scared? You're not helping. You have to tell Noor. He'll love it. Hang on. Better get a footstool.
requires trust on both sides. I'm not sure she is ready to trust yet. Remember, the choice belongs to the Ikran, not to you. Whoa! Easy there! No! What am I doing wrong? She is not sure of you. Keep going. Maybe she will reward your efforts. I'm starting to feel like I won't get chosen. She is just teasing. Be strong. Ayla, take heart. The bond is a precious thing to be cherished. A life linked forever with your own. I met Zome at this very spot. She reared up, snapped at me. My stomach churned, my palms slippery with sweat. My heart pounding so hard against my ribs, I thought it would butter bravado was all for show. Her eyes found mine and my heart slowed. My breath came steady. I knew she would choose me. I felt it. of yours. I 
think I'll call you Hawk. A new bond. It is wondrous to fly on thought alone, to touch the mind of another, your hearts beating as one. You must secure the bond with a final act of trust. How do I... We should get going. Hope the Oranahe hunters agreed to help us. I bet you've seen those nasty RDA balloons, haven't you, girl? I'm not so sure we can take them out alone. Come on, let's find Ekua. Yeah! Your Ikran is fierce and proud. It saw a kindred spirit in you. Your father refused to help. They all did. Doesn't matter what I say, they still see me as my father's daughter, not as the Sahib. You are all he has left. I am more than my mother's shadow. She loved this place. When I was a child, we'd fly here together, her holding me tight on her Ikran. We'd lay down here. We tell each other stories about the stars. I felt so grown up then. She made you feel important. <laughs> it was the stories of the King Lor I loved most.
wonder what stories my people have. They stole them from you. All the Sky People have taken. My mother saw how their hearts are ruled by ignorance and greed. She stood up and was cut down, dying with Sky People metal inside her. We never spoke of the Resistance after that. Your father thinks the price of fighting them has been too great. Will be too great. If we do not fight, we will lose everything. We did not want war. But they have made us warriors. We must bring the fight to them. Hey, Priya? There's something happening in the air here. A, a signal from these strange devices. Those RDA aerial thingies? Huh. It's disturbing the Keenlor and their food cycle in the rainforest. If we help the Keenlor, we help the Aranahe. Hey, can you scan one? I'll try to find out what they do. I'm at one of those aerial things. Okay, uh, there should be somewhere to scan, like a control panel. That should reveal the power source. Ready to ride? <laughs>
sight at the stone pillars. Etua is there now. Do you think... Are you going to fight the humans there? They won't make it easy, Delan. them down there and up there not for long this will be their last flight today we finish what they started let their ashes shroud the sky i will throw them
Daylan, I'm heading into the outpost now. Yes, then. Are you sure that's a good idea? I can sneak in. Edua's distracting the scorpions overhead. Using your sip will help keep things quiet. I'm checking if the resistance database has the schematics. Maybe I can help from this side.
time.
Etua? Etua, wake up. Open your eyes, come on. Look. We did it. You see them? The, the flowers are opening. King Lor can feed again. Please, I... I don't know what to do. I would like to try flying. Maybe one day. Just do not know if I could. How unsettling. But Etu has been hurt. Prepare the hunters. Get ready for us to fly. You did this. You made her go. Father, stop. They are feeding on their own. What happened to them? It was the sky people and their floating machines. Their strange pulsing, forcing the flowers close, driving the king law from their nests. Only the Sarent who believed me. They saw how it worked. They destroyed it alone. I tried to tell you. I wanted you to come with me. In the end, it was the Sarentu who saved our home. Enough. Etua is right. War is upon us, and Ewa cries out in pain. It is a call we will no longer ignore. Etua and I will stand beside you and lead our people together. No longer will our blood stain their hands. We will purge these lands and skies of their blight. For our children, and their children. Pandora will be free! What did I tell you? I had faith in you from the start. All grown up. Are you ready to look the part, warrior of the people? Let this be a call to all clans that the Aranae will not shy away from the fight. Hey, the air quality just keeps on improving. Our data shows there's new, healthier growth happening all around the western frontier. Slowly but steadily, the life comes back everywhere. You look well. She said she could dive from the woodside arches all the way into the water. I am not sure. It might be possible. Maybe jumping from the smaller arch. Over here, friend. Ah, that scent. The sweetness of the King Law flowers is putting a smile on everyone's face. A new queen has been born already. And thanks to you, this is no longer the only nest. The forest is ready for the King Lord to return. But they need our help. Home Tree is all the new queen knows. I'd like to help her. If she lets me. She will. A steady heart sees steady wings, you remember? All she needs is for you to guide her into the forest. She will choose the tree to make her new home. But watch her closely. She will tell you when to stop and where to go. Avoid perils, especially water. 
I will keep her out of danger as much as I can. If you do not, she will fly away. Maybe even all the way back here. Unless she stops at the flower to feed. My friend, it's time we found you a new nest. Day spent in your company is always a pleasant one, friend. That is not what you were saying this morning. I just need a moment to catch my breath. Of course. But we need... We can always meet back here if something goes wrong. Let's get out of this.
Let's just keep calm and move a bit further. Found it. We're almost there. You made it. May your new home bring you joy. One of the Sarentu has come to watch my performance. My renown beyond the King Lord Forest is all but guaranteed. I... I'm sorry, but that's not why I'm here. Uh, oh, you could at least have pretended. No matter. I assume you are looking for Wu'an? How did you know? She has an ear for fine music played expertly. Surely, she would have returned from her foraging had she heard me play. She also mentioned she was gathering herbs for Neitu. And we all know how restless my mother's young protege can get. Where should I look? She likes to gather her herbs right across the river from here. Not much for changing her routine, Wu'an. She is especially fond of that grassy bit near the shore. Though the reason why escapes me altogether. My notes do not have clarity on the open water. Feeling 
is more delicate than a king lord wing. <laughs> ah, you there. Leto is in one of her moods again. When I asked if I could help, she just snorted and said to find her someone outside of our clan. Many of us have been curious about another strange sound, but Leto is determined to find it by any means. I last saw her scowling at River's Run. The foolish sky... The dear Sarentu. Come to join me? I have been watching sky people from the shadows and deriving no small amount of amusement from their antics. They scamper to and from a cave near the bottom of wood sprite arches. I'm going to see what they are up to down there. Are you game? I can help. I've dealt with sky people before. That is the spirit? Meet you there.
Sky people have been moving those dreadful... What do you call it? Metal? Metal boxes out of this cave. Creeping, looking nervous. Might be something useful or valuable to them. It's worth a look. I am sure they think their secrets are hidden from us by the poison mushrooms. The simplicity of this plan is almost endearing. To see the world through such childlike purity. Here, a simple mixture of blaze fruit and nectar will keep you safe from the mushroom's toxin. We can assume whatever it is they are moving, it does not belong to them. Me? Are you not curious to see for yourself? Curious, yes. But to surround myself with their strange metals? Absolutely not. I know such things do not trouble you. Weathered. 
old. Instruments, weaving, every little thing. Lure is right. This doesn't belong to them. They need to be stopped. What was inside? You must show me. Instruments, weaving, all sorts of not be artifacts from different clans. They were hoarding these, most likely to sell. Bleeding our home dry is not enough. They seek to mine our heritage as well. This instrument, I was taught to play by my Zeswa friends. We would practice together in the Glade of Light. Our childish mistakes and carefree laughter all for Ewa to hear. Once these ordinary things are in the hands of those who hate us, they take on another meaning, do they not? Thank you. I am glad to know these will not end up with the sky people. Perhaps Etuwa's reckless fighting has purpose after all. Is Nefika boring you again? Pay her no mind. I'm looking at one of your field labs. It's a bit empty and dark. Oh, yes. Most of them have been temporarily offline for a while now. To be honest, with the RDA getting more active lately, we had to shut them down and retreat closer to the HQ. Is it safe to use these labs now? Well, the Resistance is acquiring more allies and more chances to drive the RDA away. Having these labs online again might be a good idea. Go inside and check your SID. It should pick up a signal from the lab's power system, scan the floor and walls, and route power from the inverters to the main fuse box. The same should work with any field lab around the western frontier. Don't think so. Wu'an must have been taken by surprise. I wonder if... Must be Wu'an's bow. Snapped. Maybe she ran? Viper wolves attacked. Broke Wu'an's bow. So she ran. 
could follow the scent of herbs? You must be Vu'an. Neitu sent me. She was worried about you. Neitu is always worried about me. Except she was right this time. I am trapped here. Trapped? By what? Viper wolves. With strange markings and no Kuru. An unnatural kind. Unnatural? Not of Ewa. They are faster than other viper wolves. Meaner. It is not hunger or fear that drives them, but... I saw sorrow in their eyes. They caught me off guard. Snapped right through my bow. They are looking for me. I can hear their prowling. Oh, the horrors they must have endured to turn so vicious. Did the Sky People do this to them? They have no peace, no calm, only the hunt. If they have your scent, maybe I can catch them unaware. Perhaps, but give them the mercy of a swift death. Only then will they finally be reunited with Ewa. The poor beast deserve that kindness, at least. Your back. No they clue. are without mercy. Should take a closer look. Focus. Hajir, I just came across something strange. An animal, but tormented. It didn't have a kuru. Hajir? You there? No kuru. You sure? You're absolutely sure. 
Do you know something about this? Come see me in HQ. Hurry. You unnatural beasts! Do not worry for me. I will stay hidden while you track down the Viper Wolves. You're safe now. The threat is gone. Oh! I thought I was going to die alone in this place. I can hold myself in a fight, but there is a reason I hunt berries instead of beasts. I'm sure you could have handled them all if you still had your bow. Oh, that is sweet of you. I will make sure Netu sets something special aside for you. A token of my gratitude. It must be hard for a tour without her mother. You are not useless. Ah, it is you. I have told Netu all about your heroics. Yes. It sounds like those Viper Wolves gave you quite a fight. I asked Netu for something to thank you with. The finest piece of Aranahe clothing. Wu'an exaggerates my skill. My weaving leaves a lot to be desired. Thank you. I'll treasure it. Great. Now you're both exaggerating. I hear Nafika has a little project planned for you in the Weaver's Den. She's been asking for you. She turns everyone into a weaving student eventually. Hello, old friend. I bring you herbs for the pain and something else. The Sarantu and Aranahe are friends, and one should always be surrounded by friends as our final moment beckons. The Sarantu returned in my final days. My grandmother once loved one of you. I grew up with the songs of your clan. Perhaps 
our young Sarantu friend could sing? I know one song, not the words, but... face death with the songs of my grandmother clear in my heart. I shall tell her of this moment when I see her in Ewa. Of course. Rest. When death comes, I will be at your side. Come, we will talk more outside. Your friend seems brave in the face of death. What courage is there in death? The dead fear nothing. For only the living have something to lose. Such loss cuts to the core of who we are. I see it in my friend Tsukiri. They lost a close friend recently. You brought great comfort to my friend in his last days. Perhaps you can make headway with Tsukiri where I did not. They say the Saranthu brought people together with stories. I would like to try. You are a credit to them. Tsukiri likes to while away the hours at Weaver's Flourish, I suspect. You will find them there, stewing in their grief. Does it ever get to you, to have to face death as part of your duties to the clan? Yes, sometimes. But the people you see here get to die in peace and will embrace Ewa when death comes. Their memories preserved forever. Those who die away from here, though they still live in Ewa, their last moments are lost to us. I only hope Tsukiri does not lose themselves to grief. Quickly now, please. I have... Sky people, just along the river. They are like any unwelcome guest. They go where they wish, leave a huge mess and move on. This time, however, it was just one of them. Alone on a small island with a large fallen tree. That is strange, yes? Have we allowed them to become braver? A lone human? Are they still where you saw them? Oh, this human learned quickly. They were chased off. They ran away screaming, and I had a hearty chuckle at that. Nevertheless, I worry what enticed a human to that place.
Thank you for these gifts. Ride.
Priya? I found an RDA dossier. Looks like orders for a botanist. And there's a picture here. A location. I'm going to check it out. Where is it? Tsukiri? Kaya thought I might find you here. Are you looking for something? <sighs> Nothing that can be found. My friend, Eteko, he liked to joke. Frank, obsessed with discovery and adventure too. Tried to make me believe he saw some mysterious colorful shell up here. A shell. Up here. What a liar. I told him he was lying. He said he would find the shell again and prove me wrong. Then went and got himself killed on the hunt. The fool. Would finding the shell bring you comfort? Having something that was important to your friend? It does not exist. It is another one of his pranks. That is all. Not comic. <laughs> Welcome. You seem curious. A great quality. Yeah. I have.
have good news. I found a Peko shell. Here. For you to remember your friend. I... No. I... Oh... Uteko, you were telling the truth, and I, I was so sure he was just, what a terrible friend I was. He promised once I blew into this shell, I would understand that it was eerie and haunting. This will be my apology to him then. <laughs> This, this is the haunting sound Iteko wanted me to hear. Haunting is the right word. Iteko has pranked me once again. I cannot wait to join him in Ewa and share this with him. Haunting. <laughs> you have brought me solace in a difficult time. Just think of the storm Katnat will bring down upon me. Kaye was looking for you earlier. Sounded special. More King Lore ready to leave our tree. Etua has been asking after you. I think she would like you to have the honor. I saw a storm glider fall into the forest. Do you know what happened? Katna will face our enemies when Nawuk is a back. rare Aranahe, all too keen to speak her mind and quite loudly at that. We try and talk her down to no avail. Even the words of Vifilu, her daughter, are useless. Their last argument sent Vefilu tearing straight towards the end of Stoneblade Ridge, near those unnatural clouds created by the Sky People. Please, I think a Sarantu's diplomacy is needed here. If you help Vefilu, you help all of us. Another of their disruptive creations, and Neon wanted me to stay put. Was it like this when you arrived? These Sky People bodies here, some my doing, but others not. No, someone was here before us. Their flying machine is not here, but we should find out what happened here first. But what else? Don't think so. No. RDA aircraft gets attacked midair, takes damage. Parts fall out of the sky. Something hits that tree. Hunter calls Ikan. 
RDA sees it, tries to kill it. Ikran, Hunter, both take off. In a hurry. If anything could have brought down the sky... Anaranahe Hunter. Skill. Spear sets off explosion. Takes out a handful of RDA. They came here with purpose. They would not stand for what the Sky People are doing here. Think we've covered everything. I wish Neon could have seen this. To see when a hunter takes real action over grandstanding. They were serious about stopping the construction, it seems. Even when after that aircraft. The Sky People will not abandon this site so easily. I need to warn the others. Tell Neon, there will be more of them. The rest of the aircraft should be close by. I picked up a scent. You have dealt with the Sky People before, right? Then I do not need to wish you good luck, but good luck. Thank you for these gifts.
here, friend. The woods hum with new life. The Kinglaw Forest is growing back into its name, and a new queen is waiting. Take her further if you can. Let the Kinglaw find new reaches of their forest. I'll try my best. It's really nice to see them back in the wilds. I imagine Cottonaut is happy. We all have our place. He is glad to see the Kinglaw take theirs again. Cottonaut will surely not ask us to fight. What would you like? May the winds treat you well. What did you find? RDA were gathered around that aircraft. I drove them off. It was brought down by one of our own. They did the right thing. They understand what we are up against. You saw? Yes. I see more than you think. I see you, Neon. Wait! It was just scouting! On my regular route! But then... The noise... The awful metallic buzzing... My blood ran hot, and I had to get a closer look. Like a fool, I was discovered and had to escape. That was you? You took down their aircraft? I had no choice. I was defending myself. You saw what was happening. I cannot believe you. The lengths you go to to hide your mistakes. No, it is not that. My father... He speaks to Katnat about me with such pride. They both expect great things of me. I did not want my failure to hurt our people's spirit. You both only want to look after your people. I wish you would trust me more. Yes. If I am ever to lead, I must trust my people. For your courage, you will also need to be better prepared for what lies ahead as well. Are you well? I have seen a growing bond between you and E2. Yes. We've been through a lot in a short time. Death bonds us all, but especially if you face it together. This is exactly why E2 needs you now. Is he okay? Yes, yes, at least physically. But his spirit needs healing. Losing an Ikram brings a grief like no other. Itu always chases the moment, but now he must stop and take responsibility. Not his favorite thing. Is there a way I can help? He has helped me. I'd like to return the favor. Only Itu can decide what must be done to say farewell to Zome. 
Your new Ikran bond may help him see it is time to let go. Perhaps you can find a way together. It would be my honor. Good. The hunters whisper of Itu spending his days at the place where Zomi died. Most likely you will find him there. One of the films told me Katnak was mischievous as a boy. What? I cannot imagine that. He is so serious. How can my silks help in war? I hope I have something you like. Let me know if I can help with anything else. My aunt, there you are. Come. My student, Natu, is quite the miserable little thing these days. It was a fall during her rookery climb. Her dreams were crushed, and so was her confidence. Now she dreads to try her hand at anything. I'm sure her confidence will come back. Maybe she just needs encouragement. You see now where you fit in. We are Anahe may be great weavers, but Saren to talents know how to spin great tales of hope and courage. I think Netu will open up to you. Everyone loves a little something new. She may even share her weaving skills with you. Many branches, many roots. I am sure you think God not stodgy in his traditions, but some things should not be forgotten. Care for others is to care for yourself. You miss this part of life, I know. Batewa connects us all. The Great Mother is in all things. That connection must be nurtured. Share with the clan. Care for their wants, their needs. They will notice and share with you in return. You will see no more loneliness, child. This is what it means to be home. Let's go. I must move up the training of our youngest hunters.
We can always meet back here if something goes wrong. We said no danger. Let's get out of this. We can always meet back here if something goes wrong. Ouch. Not good.
I think this is it. Great. Here you are. I'll be sure to visit. do this? Nifika's hoping you could teach me more about weaving. I am afraid you are mistaking me for someone else. I cannot even fly in Ikran to gather my own ingredients. How could I teach you anything useful? I can get what we need. Nifika thinks there's a lot I can learn from you. That cannot possibly be true. Why would she say such a thing? Whatever her reasons, I'm just here to learn. If you'll have me as your student, that is. There's not much I can teach you. But I suppose if you can get me some brusmos, I might be able to show you something. Look at you! Do you remember when I first saw you? Outside home tree, covered in filth! I don't think I was exactly covered in filth. Covered! I saw you and I thought that child needs guidance. A helping hand and a warm hug. I had high hopes for you as well. But if someone had told me then what you would go on to do, I would think they had too much zanke. And now look! We have a war on our hands. Will you join the fight? <laughs> I am a little old for that, my Aundu. I know I do not look it, but I will be here. Whatever you may need, we Aranae will survive this. We will persevere. People need a little nudge sometimes. A little intervention for their own good. I got into an archery contest with Kitangi last night. It is time for talk and time for action. Not coming. Yet all the... The sky people have become bolder, it seems. Going off on their own. Thinking they own this place. I do not wish to see them ever again.
Good to see you, Hawk. Like it, Hawk. Keep away from it for now. But what is this place anyway? I do not know what the RDA are doing there. Priya or Talon may fill you in on that part. But the RDA will crush you should you go there unprepared. It would be a waste after rescuing you from the cold sleep. Must be the storm glider. What happened to you? Maybe it's linked to... Storm glider was brought down by RDA aircraft. Maybe it's linked to... Don't think so. Looks like a Thanator killed the soldier. But what else? Something dragged one of the soldiers into the bush. Looks like the storm glider was hit by RDA aircraft. Two soldiers on the scene, but a Thanator jumped them? Dragged one away. But why did the RDA kill the storm glider? An accident? Or a target? Blood's still fresh. Maybe I can find them. Yep, 
Shepard's dead. Can we go now? What's the hurry? That Silla's buddy isn't coming back. Hauled ass, wailing like a kicked puppy as soon as the wyvern punched this one in the brain van. It's not those ugly things I'm worried about. This is Hunter Bravo territory. Hunter what now? Some horror that escaped from an old psyop slab out in that forest west of here. Top brass denies it, but the jarheads are saying... Did that girl in logistics tell you this? <laughs> she likes to spook the fresh meat. Shh! Did you hear that? Dude, you really need to chill. Kajir, are you there? I need your help with something. Kajir's busy in the lab. Can I help? If it's not like science stuff, I can totally do it. I found an RDA recon team that got jumped by a transport called Hunter Bravo. Does that ring a bell? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Kajir mentioned that name before. Some kind of super dangerous feral. It's still near. I need to take care of it before it kills again. Listen. Make sure you're ready for a tough fight before you track it down. No shame in coming back better prepared. Signal coming from inside the Thanator. How? Anka, it's done. The Thanator is with Awa now. Great. I'll let Hajir know. Glad you're okay. There is something weird going on, though. I picked up an encrypted signal coming from its belly. Some sort of secure access code? Maybe it swallowed an access device of some kind? Those things last forever. At least the area is safe now. Best to keep looking for signs of unusual feral activity with Hajir. We're bound to run into another one of these if there's more out there.
I should eat. It's some kind of oil facility. Not a small one either. It's going to be a typical RDE design. Doubling up oil, spitting out wastewater. Charming. And I, what brings you here? Looking for you. Kaya thought I might find you here. In the midst of my loneliness, this place brings me both pain and comfort. Is there a place that reminds you of a happier time with Zome? We used to end a day's hunting at the hunter's lookout point. Zome would stretch her wings and pester me for snacks. The view from there, Elanai. <sighs> Show me. We can say goodbye to Zome. Properly. I know what you are doing, and I accept. I accept you as my companion on this. My last journey for Zome. Always one step ahead of me, Ibu. Have you decided what you want to do? I have thought of little else. How do I celebrate her life and honor her death? I have an idea. Fortune's fruit is sharp and strong like Zome. Bring me some of this fruit. I have a plan to use the seeds. I will prepare myself and meet you at the lookout point. Fly over the waterfalls and past the arches. Then follow the river until you meet the stone pillar. How do I find Fortune's fruit? The fruit is hidden under the big leaves that catch us when we fall. You must leap and gather it on your way down. Sounds like a challenge. I have faith in you, Elenai. I have seen you leap in much more treacherous conditions. It looks familiar, somehow. Rinella, I found something. I think it's a totem. Old. The colors and weaving are a bit worn, but... It looks sodden, though. Another of our people's totems. No one has also seen one. Another? So there's even more out here. There has to be. No one also saw painted symbols near the totem. Is there something like that near yours? He wondered if the symbols meant for him to look in a specific direction. As though showing the way. And did he see anything? He... I know he tried hard. Stared for a long time, but he felt nothing. But I think Nora just wasn't patient enough. Our ancestors must have wanted us to see... something. I'd like to try. Maybe I can... Hang on.
Okay, I think we can... I'd like to try. Maybe I can find... Should look for something better. I'd like to try. Maybe I can find the right perspective. Totem. It's looking up at the giant archway. A solid, towering rock formation. And yet, I feel... Huh. I feel... Warm? I wonder... How many of our people have traveled under those stone arches? Was it a meeting place for friends? Maybe? It's strangely inviting. Even after probably generations, it still stands. It's almost like it's telling me, welcome home. Friend, my heart is heavy, but having you here will help it soar once more. Anything for you and Zomei. I brought the fruit, like you asked. I will use the seeds. They symbolize new life as you embark on your journey with your bonded, and I mark the end of my journey with Zomei. But... I do not know what to say. Say what's in your heart. I release these seeds as a symbol of new life and new bonds. The sun to warm them and the rain to nourish them. 
Let them grow as strong as our bond was, Zomi. I hold your silence in my heart, Zomi. It reminds me that a rash spirit can be a careless one. Forgive me. Fly free in Ewa. I'm so glad I could be here to remember Zome with you. My heart feels lighter now, but it is a long journey. One day, far from now, I might bond again and we shall fly together. Look for something better. What is a you. dance fight anyway? Yes, you. Do you Slow down for the a bit. The there is music, but that is all for the dance. The King Galor are ready to seek new nests. But they need a helping hand and kind heart to return them to the forest. Speak to Atua. She will know what to do. My hunts are for me, not the sky people. Hmm. That's not it. Doesn't look right. Someone ran, fast. So fast they dropped their tablet. But what else? Someone from the Resistance was here, not RDA. Good. Let's see. A Resistance human flew here to work on something and kicked the tree. Frustrated, maybe? Tablet could have more. ingredients I need. Any idea where I should look for them? Shell fruit grows on large trees all across the land. Be sure to approach them with caution. As for the crimson mushrooms, you will find those on large roots in swamp areas. Is there any particular place I can find both? Walk towards the stone arches in the distance, then down into the swamps below, you will spot plenty of crimson mushrooms among the roots. From there, head back into the forest next to the waterfall, 
and you will soon come across some plump and juicy shell fruit. Alex might know who owns this tablet.
I'm not sure who to talk to about this. I don't know how... Ah, maybe I shouldn't say anything. It's okay. You can tell me, Jim. Okay. Thanks. It's Danny. She normally goes out with the others on their usual routes. But lately, she's been going off the beaten path. The others say she last went southeast all the way into the crater. And when she's back, she won't even look at me. Deflects whenever I ask her questions. Never a good time to talk. She's mad at you? Ha, <laughs> no. Yeah, I wish it were that simple. But I know her. No, this is something else. I, um... I think this is my fault. A while ago, I brought up a topic that, in all fairness, I knew she didn't like. I figured the timing was okay and that she... Uh, you know what? It's... <laughs> it's not important. I can check up on her if you'd like. Listen. Danny's the toughest person I know. But this place is dangerous, as you know. I don't need to know where she's going or what she's doing. I just need to know she's okay. I don't leave the link bed much these days. I've grown so used to being one of you. You look different, but the same. Well, I'm the same, but you are changing, growing. Every time we meet, you look more nappy. We heard from the Aranahe. I never thought they would change their minds. And now, we are stronger than we ever were. That came from outside. More Navi on board, huh? Come to gear up? You take care of yourself. Our twinkly Is that? You still have Mercer's walkie-talkie? It doesn't work anymore. I just like having it, okay? Don't make a big deal out of it. I'm not. I'm surprised. That's all. I... I know things are different now. And I have to be tough. It's just... It's how I used to... We don't have to get rid of everything they gave us. Mercer wanted Napi and humans to work together. Cooperation is what makes for successful ventures. Only together will we build a better Pandora. You remember? Mercer doesn't care about Pandora. Or us. Well, we're working with the humans here anyway. Still cooperating for Pandora. I'm just some jarhead, but even I can see the work you're putting in. It's making a difference to Pandora. Gosh. Hey, what do you got for me? A tablet I found, dropped by one of our people. Do you think you can fix it? Ouch. Wish I could say yes. But what this tablet needs is a prayer, not a scientist. You said it belongs to someone in the Resistance? Yeah. Human, based on the boot prints I found nearby. And female, judging from the audio recording I snagged from it. They made a point to record in privacy. Away from HQ. A human female. Well, that narrows it down. <laughs> Good luck. Have you been out in the rainforest recently, Nalin? Yes, actually. I was at a field lab earlier. Just got back to HQ. Did you drop anything on the way back? Gear or tech, perhaps? Oh, no. I travel very light. The field lab has everything I need. Fewer things on me means fewer chances to be forgetful. So, no time to record poetry, I guess. Time for poetry? Never mind. 
Have you seen Danny anywhere? At the field lab. She stayed behind with some of the others. Your bow. I have to ask, what kind of wood is that? Is it Delta? I'm not sure. It must be. Very pliable, you know, but strong. Really an excellent wood to work with. I'm gonna use some for the outdoor space. Make it a little more not V friendly. I think Nora would appreciate that. Priya mentioned most of your people refuse to use metal. I agree, honestly. Why use cold clinical steel when the warmth and life of wood is available? Cold and clinical sounds more like the RDA style. Ha, huh, right? Let me tell you, building for them was no fun at all. But construction's my game. I actually had no idea what was going on out here till Danny told me. She was sick with it. And it's hard to get a reaction out of Danny, so I know it must have been bad. So you left the RDA because of her? Well, of course. She's my wife. We met on mission training, actually. Got married right before we left Earth. It's weird. It was only a few months ago, but with the trip, we've been married for years. People think she's cold, but that's crap. You just have to get to know her. Feel free to sit out back and watch me work. Any idea who might own that broken tablet? They went out to record alone, so someone bold and proud, maybe too proud for their own good, if they value privacy over personal safety. All progress is welcome. Keep up the fight against RDA pollution. I think this tablet belongs to you. No, sorry. Mine's tucked away safely in my locker. See all these scuff marks? It might belong to someone who's a bit less gentle, let's say. Any idea who might own that broken tablet? They went out to record alone, so someone bold and proud, maybe too proud for their own good, if they value privacy over personal safety. <laughs> you seem more settled. Making the best of things. I want to help, somehow. Mercer and Harding need to pay for what they've done. With the Resistance on our side, we have a real chance. And can make up for the past. How has it been almost 16 years? The humans like to say, better late than never. But it's still too late for Ahari. I didn't stand up to them then. No one expected you to. We were just children. That didn't stop your sister. She was braver. The Resistance is the way to honor that. Even if it means working with the humans here? Maybe not all humans are the same. Maybe the Aranahe will come here now. Anka, have you been out in the rainforest recently? Well, yeah. I'm a pilot. I go out all the time. Gotta keep an eye on those RDA patrols, you know? Any chance you dropped a piece of gear or tech the last time you went out? What? No way. The only way I could do that is if I'm literally dropping a tablet from the cockpit or something. <laughs> Representing the Resistance, nice. I wonder if the Aranahet know how to use radios. Why did you say tablet when I mentioned missing gear? I didn't say tablet. Just the first thing that popped in my head. I don't know. Were you thinking of this tablet? Where in the hell did you get that? 
An Arana had gatherer pointed me to where you dropped it. What... What did you find on it? I recovered some audio. Was that you? Shit. We do not talk about this here. Follow me. Some days I just want to get away from this place. I hope the Aranhe come here sometime. Turns up. It's embarrassing. I went to that spot specifically so no one would have to be subjected to my nonsense. How much did you hear, anyway? All of it? I won't tell anyone. Oh, all of it. That's great. I know the wasps didn't take too kindly to my poem. Ugh, why did I go to that spot in the first place? Real rookie business. What was I thinking? I guess you were thinking about love. I'm not exactly the best when it comes to talking about these feelings or whatever. Just really wanted a place away from all the noise to digest all this. You know the saying, love makes dumbass people do dumbass things, right? A good nothing that all did. Even without the RDA and these fun, tense times we live in, do you know how hard it is to try to be romantic here? I can't pick flowers without half of them trying to kill me. Maybe I can help. No, look, I appreciate the gesture and all, but let's not. I tried to get all mushy and ended up kicking the hornet's nest. Or a literal wasp's nest. Hive. Same thing. So forget it. I'll move on. I'm good at this sort of thing. Hey there. Thanks for coming. With the... The animal you found? With no kuru? They're called ferals. RDA captured them. Removed their kuru. It was... Unbelievably cruel. Why would anyone do such an awful thing? To control them. Didn't work, of course, just made them suffer. Made them impossible to tame. And I was a part of it. My greatest shame. Now they kill without reason. That's why I left the RDA. But I couldn't save them. We have to put a stop to it. Give them a merciful death. Yes. Do the right thing. In larger numbers, though. Wreck the ecosystem. Anka mentioned seeing some strange activity on one of her flights. Could be ferals. I will send you the coordinates. I am um, sorry it has come to this. What's with that dude, Noor? You need a new look. Keep yourself in one piece. It too has saved my life. I thought that was a goner. What are there not be like? Are they chill? Or more, you know, Sotlek style? I thought you liked Sotlek. I do! I do, totally. He's great. Kinda aloof though, right? I mean, you and the other Saren two are cool, but you were raised by humans, so it's not the same. No, it really isn't. I wasn't, I didn't mean to apply. Oh, that was offensive, wasn't it? Sorry. God, I should really just shut up. Quiet observation, Priya. <laughs> I know you didn't come to Pandora for quiet observation. Well, no. I wanted to see alien life up close. I mean, I'd only seen Natvi in pictures. Not like you're some kind of specimen. When I joined the RDA, I thought I was signing up for adventure, you know? 
When I saw what they were really doing here, I was straight out the door. I just want to make a difference. And make friends. Not be friends. I feel a bit useless here sometimes, out of place. I don't really know how to talk to people. I get too excited or too quiet, you know? I know how it feels to be out of place. Right. Of course you do. Same boat. We'll find our way together. I heard the flute player again yesterday. You think they know we can hear them? I like to imagine they come to play there so we can enjoy it too. Is this how you greet the Saren to after all this time? I have to see for my life. <laughs> Not even a flinch this one. Fearless like a Zeswa. Or perhaps just slow. That depends on if I was the target. My name is Nassim Oloitan of the Zeswa. And no warrior in Pandora can best our spears. <laughs> then you have not seen us fight. I heard you got those pompous weavers out of their tree. But the sky people ravage our lands too. We know them all too well. I should get Alma. Speak your own mind, Ritnella. We have the same enemy. We must fight together. So our envoy will come to you, just as our people once did. My sister Minang hunts beneath the celebration arches, warrior. Fly the signal kite like our riders do, and she will answer your call. Make sure you prepare before you go meet the Zeswatsahe. It is a long journey to the Upper Plains. And billions of dollars and... Uh, maybe I should stop there. ready for the challenge. You must go without your Ikran. She will not follow you into the grasslands. Why not? It is unknown sky to her. Too far from her own. You must trust the bond, new as it may be. She will join you once we have learned more of the land and its challenges. How will I travel then? You will learn. And when you are ready, this is where ancestors can show you the way. But for now, fly to the waterfall cliffs. There is a cave system that runs all the way up to the plains.
Let's go, Hawk. Thank you for these gifts. You're here. You've already seen all the pollution RDA is causing. How it affects the flora? I have. That's just... sickening. Indeed. And it's not just ill plants. Animals can't feed and live in polluted areas. Navi lose their foraging and hunting grounds. Everything on Pandora is connected. And damage done to one part affects the whole system. Resistance, too. It's critical we continue to learn which specimens of flora we can process to extract nutrients acceptable for humans. So you can't study plants that aren't healthy? Exactly. 
Right now, I have ongoing research on a plant called Flamingo Orchid, and I need clean samples of its fruit to keep the data fresh. I have coordinates to where they grow in abundance, but we don't have many hands at the field labs. Would you be so kind? food first. Alex, I'm in the area you've pointed out, looking for flamingo orchid fruits. Great! These plants are easy to notice. They're tall, colorful, their leaves look 
look like wings. They shoot out seeds when they feel threatened. The latter might cause injuries, so be careful. Found one. Looks quite ripe and healthy. What was that? Why can't I focus? Alex, something's wrong out here. What do you mean? Feels like someone's watching me. I don't like this. Think you better get out of there. I mean it. Feels like someone's watching me. I don't like this. Think you better get out of there. I mean it. Seems like this survey area is also a Thanator den. A Thanator? Are you injured? I'm fine. Even got a few samples for you. We'll tell you everything back at the HQ. We have so much to learn from you. Okay, fine. It was a stupid... Priya mentioned you might have a use for the RDA duty roster I found. Human writings. They're computers. You can understand these things, yes? Sure. You're looking for computer parts? Information, names, and locations. Like what you already found. I have heard whispers. Surviving RDA soldiers. Ones from the Battle of the Hallelujah Mountains. Ones who destroyed my clan are stationed again on Pandora. Different places now. Different posts. Find them for me, and I will do the rest. I can supply you in turn, whatever you need. I hope the Aranahe come here sometime. We have the Sky People running scared. You fight with your whole heart. A shame your friends do not. They do. Nora doesn't like to use metal, but he's helping the Resistance. And Ritnella is working with Alma. Dalan. He thinks I don't see his eyes light up when a human speaks to him, but I do. I see how he scrambles to fix their gear and answer their questions. He wants their approval. He just likes human things. He who does not know himself will seek meaning elsewhere. But there is only so much I can teach him. I do not know what it is to be a Sarento. Neither do I. You are learning. And you can show him there is comfort to be found in Navi ways. I mean, I'm not saying no to having some, but how exactly do you steal? Gosh, a Thanator den? Well, a remote location, no pollution whatsoever, 
Of course it had to be potentially occupied by some dangerous wildlife. And I've sent you there without a heads up. Stupid. Almost got you killed. And I've only got a few samples for you. Wish I could have gathered more. Don't worry. If the samples are good enough, the data from them will still be sufficient. And now that we know that this is a dangerous territory, this knowledge will save lives. You know, people died exploring and studying Pandora. Some of them I knew very well. And they could have done so much more. I need to do better when considering the risks. People trust me when I send them out there. I must prove it's worth it. The samples you've collected will contribute into that. Wish Dad could see me now. Uh... Danny came out here alone. No traces of anyone else. Where did she go next? Traveling light. Had rations. A faint scent, but it's there. So, how much did Jin tell you, anyway? He only mentioned a topic that he shouldn't have brought up. Yeah. That. Timing couldn't be more off. Talking again about starting a family. With your return, Jin saw hope. But I saw the unspeakable evil they've done to you. And what they're gonna do to all of us. So... Is that why you're out here? Could say that. I cover a lot of ground in a day. Finding vantage points, identifying potential kill boxes, trying to make us safe, if that's possible. Many of our people can't imagine how bad things will get. I can. Ask the trapped wildlife I came across. Couldn't free it without harming it. Where do you find them? Northwest of HQ. I wish there was more I could do. Leave it to me. Hope you like it, huh?
Danny. The wildlife is safe now. Good. I'm glad you bumped into me. Little chat reminds me... It's been a while since I talked to anyone about this. About anything on my mind, really. I'm back at HQ, near the entrance. Can we... talk more? I'll meet you there. We are so different from them. It's a miracle I clean up so well with the rubbish I have to work with. I guess it would be a bit rude to ask to study them, huh? God. Our intrepid adventurer returns. How is your Sid treating you? Run into any trouble? All good so far. It's been useful. I'm glad. Little Sid. It was my brother's name. Always a troublemaker. Would probably hate that I named it after him. Isn't it a systems interrogation device? Yes, yes. But do you know how long I had to think to come up with something that made sense and spell Sid? I've been refining my designs for years, originally to catalog Pandora's incredible life forms. I'd hope to share my findings with the late great Dr. Augustine. Did you ever meet her? I didn't meet anyone outside of TAP. No, I don't suppose you would have. I missed the chance as well, arrived in the furor of the rebellion. Inspiring, I must say. Though, I was far too late to be of any use. But you stayed. Did you like it here that much? I considered turning around and going straight back home again. But the wonder of Pandora, the possibilities, the sheer invigorating grandeur of her organisms. I do miss coffee, however. Try as I might, I have not been able to replicate a suitable substitute. I'm going to write down everything I can about the Aranahe. Don't understand why they're so creeped out by the metal. How old might Pumpkin be? 500 years? I was all. You're back. For now? Or do I have a choice? I'm trying to keep us safe. Trying to keep my husband safe. Maybe you should talk to him. Tell him what's on your mind. He seems so in love with you. Jin's got so much love in him, it'd be selfish for me to hoard it all to myself. Only makes sense he'd want a family. Back on Earth, I grew up in a harsh place, shaped by people like Mercer. Always people like him. That look in my parents' eyes always stuck with me. A mix of warmth and fear of failing to protect the one thing that mattered the most. Hell, that animal you freed, it'll look after its own one day. And it'll know that pain. I don't think it's thought that far. It's in its nature to produce offspring and protect its young. Like all parents, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Just dumb instinct and love. Jin can't imagine me failing. He loves me too much. And I don't know how to tell him... I'm terrified. <laughs> I should talk to him. They may have an army and billions of dollars and... Uh, maybe I should stop there.
That must be the cliff. There should be a cave. Excuse me for a moment. I have to go on my own now, but I'll see you soon. The entrance to the cave. Raise the signal kite. Nassim sent me to speak with the Saik of the Zeswa. Then we have found each other. You have been missed. <laughs> Mina! The Saturn to tread the grass again. Let us ride the wind and celebrate by the fire. We will hear your tales like we used to. Sister, you must give the warrior time to adjust. Breathe our air, feel our earth beneath their feet. Meet the Zakru. Who is the Sakru? Our wards and our guardians. Our home and heart. The home of our people wanders, warrior. It is never in the same place. But we leave kites in its wake. Flying high. So you always know how to get home. <laughs> you already think like a Zespa. Now we will teach you to ride like one. need to cut through the floor. First, you must find a dire horse. Any will do. Our bond with them is short-lived. Move slowly, be calm. Then make the bond and get home. Wait! Try 
Don't worry. Diaros is a wary of strangers. Show them they can trust. You're okay, aren't you? Elan, the Zeswatzai taught me to ride a dire horse. No way! Did you name them already? It's a little different. A bonding with them is only temporary. Oh, well, it's still pretty cool, though. How does it feel riding one? Strong, <laughs> powerful. But they don't turn like an Ikran does. <laughs> Guess they don't fly as well either. <laughs> <laughs> no, but they make crossing these plains a lot faster. It's all so vast and open here. So different.
Are you sudden too? I cannot wait to tell my sister. That's it! I found it! Do they ever get hurt? <laughs> Our people have hot heads and warmer hearts. When the Zakru walk, we follow. And when they rest? We let the ground learn our feet as we dance, the air our voices as we laugh and sing. I wish I was as strong and fierce as your people. Then you need to drink more Zakru milk. <laughs> We boil it, curd it with thistles into fresh cheese, and leave it to cure with savory dry leaves. And with the way we brew Zanke, the fire that brightens our celebrations. The legend says Zakru are stones made into beasts. Ever since the first Zakru offered us shelter, we have had music, joy, and merry. I have a surprise for you, but we need a gourd of fresh Zakru milk. How could I should have one? Welcome, Stri- Something I must do across the stream. It is part of the surprise. Take your time to walk around and meet the Zeswa. Our fearless riders are famous even beyond the grasslands. And there is someone in the nursery eager to meet you. 
The planes do not play favorites. Is she asleep? Mm -hmm. Her name is Ko Akte. She does as the grown-ups do. You have built your home around them. They must be deep sleepers. Mm -hmm. They don't just sleep, but feed. But one day they will wake up and leave, to look for fresh soil. When they do, we will follow. You are travelers, like my people. Like they used to be. I've only heard stories about the Sarentu. My mother said when she taught one how to comb a Zakru's mane. But he tripped and fell into the milk vat. Um... But every time they visited, they would raise the celebration kites. And everyone would gather, dance fight, drink sanke. Your clan was loved. And now, you are here. We will celebrate again. Your dire horse looks so powerful. Yo, you speak like the sky people. All creatures are like property to them. But she doesn't belong to anyone. I know. They are free. As free as we are. And each is unique, like you and me. This one enjoys the company of Zakru. She finds their calm soothing. Do you write? I've been practicing. If you want to learn our ways, you must master it. Dire horses are everything to my people. They help us carry our tents. We hunt with them. We fight with them and charge as one. Our bellowing war cries echoing in the plains, shrinking the hearts of our enemies. Don't worry, Sarentu. Those are just stories. How it was in the times when such things were needed. Those times may return soon. If they do, we will be ready. She and I both. The Saren II, visitor. Gossip precedes you. I hope it's good gossip. Just that you are a warrior in the making. Alas, nothing juicy. I've met Kin. He asked me to find milk. Ah, oh, Kin. His jokes used to be the joy of the clan. But he has not been the same since Sosu left. Here, fresh milk, graciously shared with us by the Zakru, the foundation of our strength. Who is Sosul? Kin's Zanke drinking partner. Have you not heard? He became the burden carrier. He left the clan forever, carrying that dreadful weight on his back. That must have been very difficult. To leave everyone you love behind. Tis a sad honor. But he took our burdens away, so we travel light. Thanks to Sosul, when the Zakru walk, we can follow. Every breath is worth celebrating with a bit of Zanke.
You know, I almost fell during that last time you did. You must... Most problems are people problems. We can fix these if they put their ego aside. Are you sudden to... Pay attention to this place. I saw a Tarsu sapling grow. You might need it one day. in time for your surprise. Go, pour it. What's his name? Ah, Pasu. It means berry. Like this. He likes them best. Pasu. It doesn't look very tasty. <laughs> they are not for eating. They make him feel beautiful. Here. friends now. In Zakro, never forget a friend. Have the sky people made a pet of you? <laughs> when... Ah, did you hear that? It means the sisters are back. Let us feast on cheese and zanke. We feast on the return of Saru. But someone must raise the celebration kites. It is an honor your people used to enjoy. That will give everyone the signal. I'm too far. One more to go.
Sorry, I'll be right back. The final kite is yours, Sam Seal. Now everyone will know we stand together. The last visit of the Sadantu was many migrations ago. You return now to bring us new stories. Stories of war, of resistance. And this time, we will tell them together. Now we hold the same spear, and we ride as one. So, what do you think of our lands? They're stunning, and so vast, I wish I could fly. But my Ikran won't answer my call. The wind of the plains is merciless. Ikran need to know you will keep them safe. The Ikran riders can teach you how, if you find them in Ewa. In the Chamber of Echoes, it is not far. With our circle on your back, walk by the leaning tree and past the hill. They are off on another of their mindless hunts. Not mindless. Never mindless. The Sky People don't do anything without a plan. I can try to find out what it is. Find the riders in Ewa, warrior. Fly, Yoikan. We will strike the Sky People's camps from above. Good to see you, girl. Daylan? The RDA are up to something here. I'm going to check out some of their camps. Are there Zakru there? They look huge. They seem said they stick their tongue in the ground. They are huge, but very gentle. I think you'd like them. I think I would. So let's keep the RDA away from them. I'll keep monitoring their channels.
that, Belan? Yeah. But what are they dropping off? And what is that lodge? The cat know what Harding is doing, right? Either way, she's trapping and killing animals just for profit. Belan, are you playing with that old walkie-talkie again? Sorry, sorry, sorry. I must have bumped... Why won't you let me get you a new one? One that actually works. It's just the way it feels. The weight when I hold it. I don't know. It's just familiar. for trophies. Oh, it's going to be a slaughter. 
We won't let that happen, Delan. Stone pillars? Oh, I bet I know where that lodge could be. And there was an access code. Now I just have to find what it unlocks. I'd better get back to the sisters first, though. Let them know what we found. Looking to gain an edge. your head high. You look unwell, warrior. What have you discovered? At their camps, I saw animals trapped and in pain. I freed those I could. They kill needlessly. They leave the meat to rot. Food from Ewa makes them sick. Ha! She stabs at them from their bellies. They only take the parts of our world that they can sell to other sky people. As trophies. They have no respect for the life that surrounds them. Their leader is Harding, and she's well known for her cruelty. What they steal, they take to her camp beyond the stone pillars. Then we will repay her in kind. Go, and we will join you when we can. Keep your eyes and arrows sharp, Sarantu. <laughs> you 
really know how to party. There are plenty of reasons to celebrate. We have enough Zanke to make a pack of Kanto sing, dance, and befriend Arrow Deer. <laughs> Let us raise our bows like we raise our spears. We are as one now. In joy and in spirit. One in joy and spirit. Uh, yeah. In joy and spirit. <laughs> a union for the ages. One that will outlast our own. It will be remembered. That is certain. A cliff mural will commemorate it. A masterwork unlike anyone has ever seen. Zeswa, Sarantu, or... Zaku. I'll help. What do you need? One pigment for your clan and one for mine. Ours must be the seed of a cloud spitter. And for yours, I... <sighs> Thicket fruit! Hmm. Beautiful color. Excellent! Bring these pigments to the foot of the Wing Mountain, friend. We will paint something worth a song. Oh, Sarintu. You have seen our clan's kites, I am sure. We made the most beautiful kites once, Naku and I. We wove our love into every fiber. And now, now that Naku is gone, I cannot bring myself to make another kite. I gathered all those we had made and flung them from the heights. As if that would make things better. Maybe it felt good in the moment. To get rid of reminders. It was foolish. An impulse. Something Naku could always quiet in me. Throwing the kites away did nothing but insult the memory of my love. Perhaps some are still out there, snagged on Shattered Bridge or tossed along the Mother of Rivers. I hope not all are lost to the winds. Good to see you, Hawk. Nathu will like this. Is it done? Did you get Harding? Hi, Solek. No. She retreated. But her crew is still out there. They're looking for a place. Some kind of Zaku graveyard. The Weeping Gorge? So, they say it's beautiful, but in a strange way. Nothing the Sky People would understand. It's the tusks that Harding wants. To sell as trophies. Humans never cease to surprise.
know where E2 goes when he disappears off with Etua? No. I have not even thought about it before now. Where does he go? I do not know either. That is why I was asking you. Wow. That is a great peak. That's it? Not gonna teach me anything else? You should ask Nafika to teach you. I'm just useless at this. Sorry. But- Look, I know you are trying to help me be, like, more confident or something. But Nafika is wasting your time. I am genuinely terrible at this. At everything. Sarantu! It was some kind of new dive. Sorry. I have heard you're having trouble with Natu. I mean, not that you need my help, of course. Netu is convinced she has nothing to teach anyone. Oh, that is clearly not true. She always knows what is wrong with my work right away. Sometimes even before I start. Just yesterday, I had this great idea for a design. She listed off 15 different reasons why it was a terrible idea. Why don't you teach me about this design of yours? Maybe that'll get her attention. Oh? Really? You want me to teach you? Are you sure? Wow! I cannot let you do this. Please, stop. This weaving pattern is atrocious. Did Tahewu teach you this? Tahewu's eager to teach me. And I have no one else to turn to. I cannot let Tehewu fill your head with his silly ideas. The other clans will think his work stands for all Oranae. <sighs> we will need some dry moss. Sky oak moss. It grows in the boundless range, so getting some will not be easy. You will have to fly there. Yes, teacher. Please do not call me that. I am just trying to help the best I can. Please.
Nethu will like this. You are sporting trouble. Where is your clan? This is good. You are way better than me at this stuff. Your technique is what makes this easy. Nonsense. You are the one who found the moss and did the weaving. And you taught me how to do it. You really are an excellent teacher, Netu. Just like Nafika and Tahewu said you were. I never thought... Wait. Nafika said that? And Tahewu? Of course. They know you can do great things. Even if you don't believe it. Thanks. It actually felt pretty good to show you what I know. You have something to show. Ready to ride? Seeing drills of some kind. Laser drills. Should be enough. Shell fruit next.
The Tsar and to... Have you ever followed a blade-winged moth to its nest? There is one near here. There. Better get back to Satno. Should be enough. Shell fruit next. Smells amazing. Better check the seasoning. This doesn't look right at all. Shell fruit should be the main ingredient. That flavor. Wow. Why is this so familiar? What? All gone. At least Satnope's gonna get a good laugh out of this. You look well. What did you think of the dish? Did I not tell you that choice ingredients make all the difference? 
I couldn't stop myself. I'm afraid I finished it all. No matter. Just tell me, what did it taste like? Like shell fruit and mushrooms, I suppose. But also... Like my mother holding my hand during a storm. Like the warmth of a fire on a cold night. How can I be remembering this? Not all stories are best told with words. Flavors and smells offer another way to reach the heart. And I did promise you a story after all. Where did you learn this recipe? A siren two woman taught it to me on a cold night. On this very spot, as a matter of fact. Wait. A Sarandu woman? Yes, she was kind. With an easy laugh, but also fierce in her convictions. Not unlike you. What else do you remember about her? It was a long time ago, I am afraid. But I remember she had a beautiful singing voice, and she had your eyes. Or is it that you have hers? Over here, friend. Huh. Have you come looking for a new queen? You are in luck. Soon, the King Law will not need our help anymore. They will fill each nest themselves as balance is restored to the forest. When my mother was here, I relied on her to steer me in the right direction. After she was gone, I had to learn to trust my own instincts, sometimes against everyone else. Trust the queen to know where she needs to go. And in turn, she will trust you to take her there. Let's try this. Thank you, Ewa, for these gifts. You are Sarentu. If you are looking for a Tarsu sapling, I saw one earlier. No guest of the Arane Hell shall ever go without food in the King Lord. We said no danger. Let's get out of this. Slowly. 
steady. Each step will get you closer to your new home. Easy there. Easy does it. Oh, my six-legged friend here stresses you out. All good, yes? Let's have another go at it then. Let's keep an eye out for a tree where we could rest.
We can always meet back here if something goes wrong. Let's keep an eye out for a tree where we could rest. Found it. We're almost there. Your new home. You'll be safe here. Ready to ride?
Kajir, you there? I did it. Those ferals are with Awan now. I'll call you back. There was a lot of them. Way more than I expected. Any idea why? No idea. They don't play well together. Never have. I... I saw a viper wolf the other day. Right outside the field lab. Thought it was a feral. Finally tracked me down. Felt strangely relieved. I'll let you know if I come across any feral activity. We'll make this right somehow. Thank you for these gifts.
Hope you like it, Hawk. Which is truly the perfect spot. Oh, grand colors for a grander mural. Let us get to work. I love it. You must be pleased. Ah, oh, it is simply mediocre. Unfitting of artists like us. I'm sure we can make it better. The Arana have fight with us too. Why not include them? A larger work than we thought. The clans joining for a greater good. Oh, what an epic subject! We would need a special color. One the clan would truly cherish. I know just the right person to ask. Seeing this fight. No. Can I ask you about colors? I see you are starting to find yours. My advice is bearing fruit. It's not for me, but for a rock. Far in the upper plains. Wasting pigments on a rock? A Zeswa idea, I imagine. One of their artists is painting the clans. Which dye would you say best represents yours? I could not choose only one. Although there is one pigment we treasure. Fortune's fruit. But make sure it is ripe. We do not want that rock to look even more dull.
Thank you for these gifts. Thank you for these gifts. 